I've written a little app that will run both the import and the cleanup tool on a file that you want to bring in, either a DXF or DWG file. Of course, right now, if you want to import a DXF or DWG file, go to import, and you can choose your files. Choose whether you want to insert file name or not. I'm just going to go with no for right now and put the parts in there. So at this point, if you didn't run your cleanup tool and you went to your cam tab, and we'll just do our quick button here, because there are some openings in the uh, geometries, we lose our outer geometries here and just end up with something like this. So then you would probably go back to your tools tab and maybe do the analyze function to see what you've got going on. We've got some openings and such in these parts here. So then you'd probably run your cleanup tool, tolerance, since we've got gaps, I'll start with a thousandth of an inch, and control A, hit enter, do the analyze again, control A, hit enter, now we've got no gaps, now we can do, go ahead and make our parts. So this app that I've written will do both the import and the cleanup and it cleans up with a tolerance of 0 0.001 so if you end up with gaps that are bigger than a thousandth then you just have to run your cleanup tool again I mean in the future give a L prompt there where you can like with the uh, current cleanup tool specify what you want that cleanup tolerance to be but for now it's a thousandth of an inch so we can add this little button up here wherever you want it I've got it on my cam toolbar so click on this Again, prompts you whether you want to insert file name or not. This time I'll go ahead and click yes. And we'll click these two files again here. Insertion point, left click where I want to insert the part. And then text insertion point. And then height default is quarter of an inch. Or I can left click and left click to indicate the height of the text. And then insertion point for my next part. Left click again and again insertion point for text and I'll go there and I'm just gonna hit enter for the defaults value of the text height. What it did there was import the parts and then also run the, clean, the uh, cleanup tool so if I go ahead to my quick button it can go ahead and create those parts so if you're interested in testing that new app out please send me an email and I'll get in contact with you and get it installed on your system. Thanks!